and welcome to this week's video. I am Anne LaFollette and I'm a service pattern designer and an online educator and I love to come on every single week to talk to you a little bit about what it is that I'm working on and sometimes who in particular is inspiring me right now. And today's broadcast is all about Emily Jeffords and if you have not met her before, you are in for a real treat. Emily lives on the East Coast in North Carolina. She is a mom of two beautiful children. She also is a gorgeous uh, fine art painter, and I'll show you some images of her work right now. And she also is a phenomenal online entrepreneur. She's an incredible businesswoman. And she actually has been in business for over 10 years. She just, or in fact, 10 years to be exact, she just celebrated her 10th year in business on February 10th, which I believe was yesterday. And she now both teaches online and sells her artwork online extremely successfully. And one of her missions in life is to share her knowledge with us so that no matter where we are in our creative journey, we can actually leverage a lot of what she's learned and make progress more quickly ourselves, whether or not we're fine artists or watercolor artists or surface pattern designers like I am. Now, one of the things I love about Emily, and if you go to emilyjeffords.com, you'll see her gorgeous work. You can read more about her story and how she got started. But she, once a year, offers a free masterclass that is in progress right now, and I have a link to it below this video. It's called Share the Work. And the series is organized around four main lessons. The first is of which is, what do you need to know to sell your work online? Because that's kind of the foundation that you need to understand before you can really get started. Or if you've already started, but you want to actually move online, it's a great place to understand the landscape and how things work differently when you're actually not in a brick and mortar environment, but rather are selling online. So that's kind of the foundational element of the video series. Then she builds on that in the next video by sharing with us what it is that we need to do to evaluate whether our work is good enough to sell and uh, and then of course how to improve it to ensure that we are producing work that's good enough to sell then she covers five ways that you can attract your audience and the very, very important ways to attract the right audience, whether that's collectors if you're in the fine art space or whether or not that is a, a more general audience that will purchase your work for, from me, for example, as a surface pattern designer. And then she wraps up the series with the five lies that artists tell themselves all the time and that we need to bust through like that voice in the back of our head that is always telling us that we're not good enough um, or that we'll never be able to make money from our art. And she is very passionate about busting the myth that is the starving artist mindset and uh, and she and I and our mutual friend Bonnie Christine all really believe in the abundant artist mindset which is really important to ensure that you're going to be able to make progress um, and stay positive as you're learning how to become successful selling your art online. So I highly encourage you to watch the video series. There's a link to it below this video. And then she's also just about to launch, I believe tomorrow, so depending on when you're watching it, it's still probably underway, um, a actual seven day challenge. And she's gonna hold the challenge in a private Facebook group and you can get all the information about that also by clicking the link below. But let me dive a little bit more into some of the content that she shared that I thought was incredibly valuable. And I'm gonna keep it at a pretty high level because I want you to go watch the video series, but I did also wanna kind of whet your appetite by sharing some of the really important messages that she included. So in the first video in the series, she covered three really important points about what it is you need to know to sell your work online. And number one is you need to have a website. But more than just having a website, I think that what she reinforces and that I also really believe in is that your website needs to really be your gallery space. And I think sometimes we think about our online space differently from, what, from if we had an actual brick and mortar physical store. So I want to challenge you, um, as she does, to think about your website and put the amount of energy and 
uh, effort into your website that you would put into a physical location if you actually had a retail store. And just think, when you have a retail store, you are changing the windows all the time. You're making sure that there's something really attractive that's gonna draw people in, that's in the windows. Then inside the store, you've merchandised everything really beautiful. So it's easy to shop and people can find things easily and they totally understand kind of what you're all about very, very quickly as soon as they walk through the threshold. The color scheme um, is an important component to that. Your marketing is a very important component of that. And so think about that as you are creating or improving your website. And having a website or um, getting started to have a website should not be a barrier. And sometimes it can become this really, really big thing and it's all of a sudden, well, I don't have a website so I can't get started. So I don't want you to walk away with that thought in any way. I want you to get started with the website because you can always improve it. And if you guys have known me for the past five years, you know the first version of my website versus the version of my website that you see today. And it has definitely evolved and yours will Will too. But that was point number one. Then point number two is that no one's going to find you unless you invite them to do so. And you need to attract your audience to you. And while a lot of people focus on marketing and what does marketing mean to them, I love the way Emily really makes this come to life by saying, if you, again, had a brick and mortar store, you would be figuring out a way to have engaging events inside the space so that people would get to know you. You could do um, sip and shops in the evenings as another way to attract people into the store. Or over the course of the year, periodically, you might have a sale, to, again, to engage with your customer and bring them inside the store. And you need to do the same thing in the online space. You need to make sure that people can find you, that they understand what it is that you offer, and that you're attracting them to you. And Emily actually doesn't talk about this, but one of the people who helped me a ton in building my own business online is Amy Porterfield, who I've talked about before. I have a couple of other YouTube videos about her. And one of the foundational things that's critical that she um, reinforces to everyone who she speaks to, both on her podcast and in her courses, is you need to build an email list so that you can communicate with your, um, with your audience. And that's actually how many of you find me. You join my email list and then I send you a link to this video so that you can watch it and continue to learn and engage with me and learn more about what I'm doing and hopefully I'm sharing value with you so that you can make more progress in your creative journey. So I'll put a link below to a free masterclass that Amy offers that's all about how to get started building your um, email list because that's a critical component of finding the right audience and then attracting that right audience to you and to your work and to both what you give away for free and what it is that you ask them to pay for. And number three is that your work will only be attractive if you're actively attracting people to it. So what's important about this point is that you are a living and breathing unique individual. And your vision for your work is something that's really important for people to understand. Part of what attracts them to your work is the work itself, but it's also you and your personality and why you create that work and what is what you're passionate about and how that shows up in your work. And ensuring that there is that sort of depth of depth uh, behind your work is part of the way in which um, art actually sells. So those were the three things that she shared in her first video. And as I mentioned to you, it's a four part series. And so there are is more goodness there awaiting you. So click the link below the video, sign up for the free masterclass. You'll get it in an email sequence. And now I think because it's fairly far along, you may in fact be able to binge watch it, which I know many of us love to do. And then also even um, if you're not interested in the free series and would rather participate in the challenge, click that same link below because there will be a way for you to sign up for the free challenge that starts tomorrow. All right, so if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy learning bo both about what it is that I'm working on and the people who I'm inspired by, then please click the subscribe button and you can also hit that little bell so that you get a reminder whenever I have a new video available. As I always like to say in closing, I am Anne LaFollette and it's never 
too late to create. Bye for now, and I'll see you again next week.